Gagul was a farmer from a village near Kolkata. A lot of girls gathered in the marriage. They all were received by offering sweets, but the sweets were without sugar. Instead, it contained jaggery. When someone asked about it, Gagul responded with pride. The British are responsible for all our miseries. Hadn't we decided to boycott their products? So, I preferred Indian jaggery to British sugar. In the beginning of this chapter, we saw the narration of a village wedding function. A farmer, his name was Gagul. It was the marriage of his daughter. He received the girls by offering sweets, but the sweets were without sugar instead. So, it contained jaggery. What could be the reason for the people to boycott British products. The British conquered princely states using military forces and diplomatic strategies. The period from the Battle of Pelasi 1757 to 1857 is a period of colonial domination in India. At the same time, it was a period of resistance and uh, revolt too. There is a very long list of rewards by native princes, peasants and tribes. Farmers were one of the immediate victims of the British rule. To increase the income, the British implemented new land revenue system. The land revenue system implemented in various regions under the British rule has different. This picture shows the British land revenue system in India. Permanent land revenue settlement has introduced in regions of Bengal, Bihar and Odisha. Right to Wadi system was existed in southwest regions and the Mahal Wadi system existed in northwest regions. The first revenue system was permanent land revenue system. In 1793, permanent settlement was introduced by Lord Cornwallis. In this system of a revenue settlement, the tax was collected by zamindars. He was also the owner of the land and he had to the jurisdiction to collect tax. All the zamindars became the owners of the land and the farmers become tenants. The tax has to be paid in cash strictly before the cutoff date. Before introducing this system, Tax could be paid in kind. Farmers were to pay up, uh, up to 60 percentage of the yield as tax. Tax has to be paid in cash as on at the time of poor yield. Another system of tax method is right to worry system. Right to worry system is another system of revenue which introduced by the British. Right to worry system was introduced by Thomas Mantro in the year 1820. It was introduced in South India. The entire village was considered as a single unit of collection. The land revenue policies implemented by the British affected the agricultural sector too. When they unable to pay the tax in the form of money before the deadline, they had to take a loan from money lenders at a high rate of interest. The agricultural land was seized by the money lenders because of not paying the loan and interest. Dear student, in this session we discussed about economic exploitation of the British through various revenue policies. Let me come into this conclusion that you have understood what we discussed in this session. 
വി വിൽ മീറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് സെഷൻ മൂന്ന് ലക്ഷത്തിലേറെ വരുന്ന ചോദ്യോത്തരങ്ങൾ ഏറ്റവും കുറഞ്ഞ ചിലവിൽ സ്വന്തമാക്കുവാൻ ഉടൻ തന്